Connecting your front end to your back end is often one of the hardest concepts to grasp when you're getting started with web development. Today, we're gonna to develop a Node.js Express API on AWS that will connect your front end React app to a back end AWS environment in 10 minutes. Hi, I'm Dylan, a cloud engineer living in Bend, Oregon. If you find this video useful, drop a like, and if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. You'll probably like my other videos. Okay, so let's just get right on into it. What we have here is our architecture diagram. Uh, this is just showing what Amplify is doing under the hood. Uh, the really cool thing about Amplify, if you're a beginner, is it takes all this stuff that would take a lot of manual configuration and abstracts that out. So what's going on under the hood is we're gonna have this front end project that's gonna get shipped up and stored in an S3 bucket and then we're going to connect it to an API gateway, which will then connect to a Lambda function. And so pretty straightforward. This is uh, you know, about as basic as you're going to get, uh, but it's a great starting off point uh, if you're just getting into Amplify. And it is also a common use case. And so I'm actually just going to be following right along with the Amplify tutorial. Um, this is your getting started tutorial. So if you want to follow along or you're doing this yourself, just hop into these Amplify docs. I'm going under the React getting started page and we're going to go right from there. So what we're going to do is open up. So it looks like we want to globally install the Amplify CLI if you haven't already. And we're going to do these steps. Uh, I prefer, this is just personal, to open and do a, do a project uh, before installing globally. I just like to keep everything local instead of installing globally. Um, so I'm gonna call this, you know, my LAM API. And we're just gonna take that, slide it onto VS Code, get a new project going here. There we go. All right, my LAM API. We're gonna, oh, that's not what we want. Okay, we'll do half screen and half screen. Uh, and okay, so we're going to install the CLI. We're just going step by step here. We'll get a little zoomed in. Okay, we'll copy that, uh, paste that in, copy that. There we go. Paste that in. I prefer not to do globally, uh, just personal preference. You do whatever you like. Um, okay, so we're getting in here, installing and this is the toolkit CLI stands for command line interface. Okay, that took a minute, but we are here. And next we are going to configure Amplify. I've done this before, so maybe a little bit different for you. Uh, but let's just go through it and see what's going on. Looks like it's redirecting to the console. Um, cool. Okay, it's going to have you sign in. Do actually, you know what, let's just do it. Do it all together. Okay, we'll pause, I'll get this in. Okay, so I signed into my account, and now I'm gonna go back to the terminal and press enter. Uh, we're gonna specify our region. I'm US West 2, but whatever you want. Um, this, I'm actually not gonna do this just because I've already done all this configuration, but basically follow through all the steps, do a username. Um, actually, you know what, we'll just do it together. Uh, YouTube user. YouTube user, okay. It's gonna take us back to the console. At first I was like, let's not do it, but you know, this is a tutorial, so let's do it together. Management access, you know what? Shh, no, let's not, we don't need it for here. Okay, um, add a user group, administrator. So this is what's happening is you're, get, you're creating an IAM role, and if you wanna learn more about IAM roles, check the card. Um, but this is what is going to make it so you can run stuff from VS Code and have access to your AWS account. And so administrator access gives all the, all the credentials. And so what I do is I give every single thing, I add a tag of name, capital N, and this will be my white YouTube user. Uh, and that just makes it easy for billing and whatever else. This wouldn't have anything to do with billing, but uh, I, I like to use that convention of name, that way I can know what it is. Okay, and so what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna take these two things and keep them handy. I'm gonna hit enter here, uh, access key ID. So you're gonna copy this, you're gonna paste it in, enter it, you're gonna take this secret access key, 
Uh, I'm gonna pause it so you don't see it, uh, but I'm just gonna copy it and then enter it in here. Okay, we are back. Uh, I'm gonna give this the name YouTube user, for the profile set, successfully set up, great. So now we can go back to our tutorial now that we have an account. We'll make this a little smaller. I'm just trying to make it so you guys can see the tutorial and uh, what I'm doing here. Okay, so this is our initial setup. Now to start our project. Um, so what you wanna do if you haven't already is create a folder like I just did. And let's go back. Oof, there we go. There we go, come on. Okay, so you're gonna wanna do create react app let's do it for me i'm just going to press this dot to show that i want it to do to make it in my local directory this would be it's going to make a new react amplified folder so let's look at our file structure uh, as you can see node modules are in there uh, package lock oh let's see is there already npm rocking in here interesting uh, either try using it. Okay, so let's let's just delete. Oh, it's because we did the amplify install. So we're just gonna delete these things, and we will install amplify again in a second. So copy it. We will. Oh no. Uh, delete. Move to trash. Okay, so we will take this much of it, npx create react app dot. Um, like I said before, I didn't realize that would happen, but it doesn't want to create the app because there's already a, a node modules folder in there. Uh, so it thinks there's something already started. So what we will have to do now is just, uh, if you haven't already, uh, or if you don't have the Amplify CLI uh, installed globally, you're gonna want to reinstall that package. Um, and so we'll do that in just a sec. Okay, so that downloaded and we are going to reinstall Amplify CLI because we had to delete it in order to create the React app. Uh, so we're gonna do that and we will be right back. Okay, that took a minute, but we got it. So let's go back up top. So we did this, we just Install the CLI. Uh, you can always verify that by going to the uh, sure we'll allow the package.json. Um, see that you know everything that we want is downloaded. Uh, next, npm start. That's really just to test and verify that it's working. So we're going to skip that. And now we are going to officially initialize our Amplify project. You know, up until now, we've just downloaded dependencies, but now we're actually going to provision a project in the cloud. Yeah, let's call it MyLame API, Dev Environment, VS Code, JavaScript, React, Source, Build. Just hit enter through these um, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, you're going to want to go down to AWS Profile. That's what we just created. And there's our YouTube user. We're going to use that guy. And let's go from there. Okay. Um, that's going to initialize. We'll be back in a sec. You know, actually, while that's initializing, let's just get going with some of this stuff. The thing for me is like, it can get kind of annoying to sit here and wait while stuff loads. And so sometimes I like to work ahead. Um, oh, looks like this already finished. So we're good there. Um, okay, we'll install these libraries. I was gonna skip a step, but looks like we don't need to. Okay, we'll install these bad boys. And then we are going to set up the front end. Okay, configure it. So I'm gonna copy this. Uh, we're gonna look for our source index right here, pretty simple file structure, but a little quick tip, in the case that you do not, you know, you have a big file structure, if you hit Command P, it's gonna pull up this little file searcher and you can look up index.js and it'll show you where that is. I'm gonna hit enter and it'll open up that file. Just a fun little quick tip. So we're gonna just paste that code in here, hit save, and this is just taking that same configuration file that we did in the command line and um, importing it into the project. Okay, so now what we do is we're going to add an API. Um, if I add API, 
Uh, and this is the beautiful thing. You are not, okay, rest. Let's give it a name. Let's call this, what do we call this? My Lamb API, I believe. Um, we're gonna call this Woohoo. Yeah, we're just doing a little fun thing. And now we're gonna create a Lambda function that is connecting directly to this API. So um, what's gonna happen, we just made an API, we made a path. So when this API gets hit on the Woohoo path, uh, it is going to trigger the Lambda function that we're creating right now. Um, so we're gonna give this, we're gonna call this my lam API func. Um, namings conventions right now are not good. Okay, and so this is where we're gonna make our express API. So within our lambda function is gonna be the logic for the express API. So we're gonna hit enter there. Uh, we're not gonna figure advanced settings and we do want to configure this now, enter. Oh, may have hit enter too soon. Okay, so now what we have, let's uh, just show where we are. So what we can see is if I go back, so this tutorial now gets into some GraphQL stuff. So I'm just gonna delete this. We won't need it anymore. And we will just go together. Okay, so just to show you guys where we're at in the file structure, uh, source is where all of our front end is going to be, amplify is where all our back end is going to be, and inside of this function, um, we're going to go to the source, app.js, and this is where the fun stuff's going to happen. So if we call a git, it's going to do this. If we call a post, it's going to do this. And so this is this is our API right here. So what we'll do is we're just gonna do a very simple demo to get the front end and back end connected. Uh, and so what we're gonna say is git call, call ex succeeded woohoo, okay. And so this is what we're doing. Uh, if you wanted, this is where you would add your code. You know, you can do some for loops, you can call a database, anything you want, you type in here. And once you're ready to return it, this is a JSON object that is going to give you back the data. So you could even do like body and then, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do there. But we are going to keep it simple. I'm going to save that. Uh, and so in theory, we should call this and get back this success message. This is our API. Now we need to connect it to the front end. So I'm going to close this Amplify folder and we're going to go to our front end. Uh, this app.js is the main uh, component. This is where the home page is. Uh, and so what we're going to do is, okay, we already did our, um, our imports, all that fun stuff. Okay, so that means that we can call this API. And so what we want to do is we'll do this import Amplify API um, from AWS Amplify, and then we are going to have a function that runs called fetch woohoos, and this is something I made beforehand. And it is the syntax for connecting the back and the front end. And so what we have is this API function from the Amplify library. I don't think we actually need this. What it's gonna do is we're gonna say, we're gonna do a git request. We need the name of the API and the path. Okay, so I just realized that our API, I do not believe has been deployed yet because we were editing the function and never hit enter down here. Let's finish doing this API. And there we go. Now we have this API folder. What we have here, we can check out the name of our API Let's see, is this where it is? API params, paths. Okay, so this is gonna tell us about our API if you go to this params.json. Um, so we're gonna go to our resource name, API name. And so uh, this is the name of our API. Um, this is the function within it. Let's see, and so this is showing, you know, this is the function that's gonna trigger within this API. When we call the woohoo path, it's gonna trigger this function, uh, which is the code inside of here. And so we, in order to call an API from the front end, we need the name and the path. And so I'm gonna take this name, I'm gonna copy it. We're gonna go here and put it right there. Um, just to prove it, this is the path we wanna call. Um, it's woohoo. 
it's already in there, um, but just type that in. And then this right here is if you're gonna pass anything into that Lambda function. Uh, for us, we are not, but you know, this could be a, let's say you wanna pass some fruit in there. You could say fruit one, you know, apple, and that would get passed in to the Lambda function. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, you know, make this call to the API. We're gonna get a response and we're gonna set my message. We haven't declared my message yet. Uh, that is gonna be right up here is my message. In order to do that, we need to use some React. We need to use use state. And then we're gonna use use effect to uh, call fetch woohoos as soon as this loads. So this empty brackets means on first load, we are going to call this function and then let's pass the woohoos into our page. Um, and what are we calling this? My message. All right, so in theory, uh, when we load this up, we should have this working. But before it'll work, we need to uh, push all our changes to the cloud. And so uh, we do that by saying amplify push. And this is literally gonna make the API gateway. It's gonna make that Lambda function uh, that when we, um, even our testing locally, it's gonna be calling uh, cloud resources uh, that we're gonna work on. And so I'm gonna let this load, we're gonna give it a second, and then we are gonna see, uh, hopefully if we did this right, it's all gonna work. If not, we're gonna learn something debugging together. Okay, we are deployed now for the moment of truth. Uh, NPM start. Okay, and this is how you test the project locally. If you've done this before, um, this will be very familiar. And uh, this is loading. Yeah, we'll just wait for it. Usually it takes a second uh, when it's just getting loaded up, uh, but we'll just let it hang uh, and chill. Cool. Boom. Great. And there we have it. Call succeeded. Woohoo. And um, it's just exactly what we thought would happen. We wanted this message. What it did was when the page loaded, it called this function, which literally in the cloud, you know, called the API gateway which it called the API gateway at this path, uh, which caused it to trigger that Lambda function, which returned that string we passed in. And if you are continuing on learning about this stuff and you say, man, this is great, Dylan, but it's super simple, uh, just type in REST to this Amplify documentation. Let me get this a little bigger. And you can see getting started using resources. This is Android, iOS, Flutter, go to JavaScript, Click on that and you can follow some documentation to see what it looks like to make different requests and to, to go a little bit deeper um, with the rest, fetching, updating, all that fun stuff. If it worked, drop a like. And if it didn't, let me know in the comments and let's try to get it figured out. Amplify is a really powerful tool. And if you want to learn more about it, you'll like this video where I use Amplify to create a Dogecoin prediction app. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.